Right everyone, we're back to here. Right, I'm going to do a new crossbow. So, first thing I was going to do is do a video of me designing it. I'm going to design it from scratch. Try and make it all completely sort of homemade. This one's going to have a homemade prod. A sort of compound prod, sort of. It will look like a compound prod, but it's really a recurve. So, in this video, it's just literally me doing the design. I'm going to design the trigger. The whole entire crossbow, everything like that. So, first thing to design is the trigger, like I mentioned. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to do a simple roller nut design. Uh, I'm going to have to do it two finger trigger, I think, because this is going to be a heavier pull, hopefully, a heavier pull than normal. And, uh,. So it may, with the this kind of design, you either need a very long trigger or one that you can use with two fingers. So, I've mentioned before, but you may not remember, I have mentioned this crossbow, and it's going to be a carbine crossbow, smaller than a rifle crossbow, bigger than a pistol crossbow. May not be quite as powerful as a rifle, but it's going to be a lot more powerful than a pistol hopefully anyway i say that because this is just gonna i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna do it as i go along see how it turns out you know trigger at the minute how to design it hasn't got a safety but i may add a safety because i i don't always feel that comfortable without one so what you'll see at the end of this is a trigger without a safety catch but i can add one later and i think i have an idea of a sort of uh, trigger, uh, not trigger, safety where you push it through each side if you know what I mean, like you get on quite a lot of guns so like I said, the roller nut system two finger trigger so the actual trigger guard will be as low, lower down so it's between your four fingers if you know what I mean I might be able to show you that in a minute Just, just get into the design and as I'm cutting a piece out of the roller nut as well to stop it spinning because what it does it spins completely round if you don't do like a pin or something so I'm going to try to prevent that you know we'll see how it goes some of these things may not work so the other parts of this I'm going to try and it's going to be smaller than a rifle as well I didn't mention that possibly have a folding stock so I'm either going to try and have a folding stock or a telescoping stock, but I think a folding stock would be easier. As for power, I don't really know at the minute how powerful it's going to be. I'm hoping it should be all right. And I'm going to use tent poles for the fiberglass tent poles for the prod. Possibly um, four on each side. Which you'll see later. Uh, I don't know if I'll be. I don't know if I'll show you in this, but they'll be laid side by side, four on each side, and then you could potentially add two between those to make it even stronger. I'll have to make. I'll have to make some brackets at the end. Yeah, hopefully it should come out alright. It's all going to be made from scrap materials. It's all going to be very simple, but should look good. I could make a lot more detailed trigger but I just I just don't want to I like to make things as simple as you can but you know good still you know so the roller nut is going to have a groove in it where the bolt goes that helps to make sure that the bolt is actually sitting right on the string and that's what I'm just marking down now because I'm going to do this as a separate trigger block so this block would actually be uh, be taken out and put in a different one. It's not actually part of the crossbow, if you know what I mean. It's inserted into the stock and bolted in place. Never done one like this, but I think it should work all right. Yeah, so it basically be two steel plates with the roller nut and the trigger inside. And then you could just insert that straight into any crossbow you make pretty much is all you need to do is cut a square into your stock 
you know, and then it'll be done. So that'll all be made of, I think I'll have steel plates on the side and the roller nut and that'll be made of aluminium. Which I know a lot of people think aluminium probably wouldn't be strong enough, it would wear a lot. But I find it doesn't. And even if it did anyway, you could always just screw a piece of steel into the end. You know, because people make roller nuts out of something called Delvin, I think it is, which is almost like a hard plastic. And if that works, aluminium's going to work. So after I've done the trigger, I think I'm getting on to finishing the trigger design now. So I'll start designing the stock in a minute and stock is going to be made from just scrap plywood anything I can find aluminium I'm going to have an aluminium rail which makes the string last a lot longer one other thing I'm hoping if this worked good I may be able to buy some proper strings found a bloke on eBay who makes strings and I've planned this it's all going to be in between a pistol and a rifle so every single part of this should be it's going to be bigger than a pistol smaller than a rifle so the prod on this should be about four inches smaller than a rifle and the whole entire stock is about four inches shorter as well maybe more so it's going to be quite a compact short rifle basically So I'm just going to start designing the stock now. And again, this may change as I go along. You'll see later that I have like a grip at the front, a pistol grip at the back. I may change that front grip into a pistol grip as well, so it'd be two pistol grips. <coughs> Need to add the safety. And what I also may do for that front grip, actually just put a weaver rail there, or a Picatinny rail, and then you can put different accessories on. So you could put a pistol grip on there if you wanted to or you could put a pistol grip and a laser on there or you could put the laser on there you know it gives you some more options for different things at the front of the crossbow yeah so I'm just designing the trigger basing the handle off of that Webley Mark 1 because it's a very comfortable handle that quite a small handle <coughs> some handles on certain guns are a bit big they have to be slightly bigger than normal because they have magazines in them, stuff like that. That is a lovely little thin, comfortable handle. So, just base, getting the basics of the stock down. Like I said, it'll be just any cheap wood. I'm basically going to use some wood off of an old crate I found. Probably not the best wood you can use. Well, definitely not, but it'll do for this and it'll do for what I want thing you, the best kind of you know you some nice hardwood would probably be nice but one thing I like about ply is e it's easy to work with I could do I'm gonna use that one that plank is gonna be part of it the only problem is I'm gonna, I can't cut the whole stock out in one if you know what I mean because the handle won't be there so I'm gonna to have to add the handle afterwards but you'll see that when I make it so I won't need too many metal plates on the side of this one either now because of the different trigger I may add a metal plate anyway because it just strengthens up those parts where you've cut it out but we'll see I may make them slightly more decorative this time than I normally do I'm going to make it fire the thinner rifle crossbow bolts. You can get a couple of crossbow bolts, like I think it's the 2219 or 2019 and the 2018. The 2018 ones are about 8mm. I think I'm going to make it so that it shoots those and cut them down slightly so they're going to be slightly shorter than a normal crossbow bolt. But hopefully, it should have some decent power. Draw length won't be quite as long, but, you know, the whole thing is going to be smaller anyway, with a rifle.
Yeah, so what I'll do after this video is I'll do a video of the materials showing you what you'd need if you wanted to go along with this and I'll also put these designs on my blog all you really need is some um, I think it's about 12 15 mil ply something like that piece of five mil ply or anything for the like in between those to sandwich in between them some 12 mil aluminium big enough to do two parts of the nut and the trigger some three mil aluminium plates or maybe steel all depends what you want to make it out of and some springs and some screws basically and possibly some nails bit of glue but it'll all be very simple if you've watched any of my videos and seen me do these things you'll know that all of the stuff I do is always with the most basic tools and the most basic material this crossbow hopefully if it goes right the only power tool I'll use for the whole thing is probably going to be a drill Because you don't need a lot of, you know, band saws and all that will make things a lot quicker. Jigsaw will make things a lot quicker, but you don't need them. You know, they never used to use them in the old days, so... But it does make things a lot quicker, obviously. So, I think that's getting to the stage where I've designed the stock, and then I have to design the... The front end of the crossbow where I'm actually gonna have the prod because it's not gonna be a traditional recurve prod it's gonna be like I said a cross between a recurve and a compound so it's gonna look there it is on the end you can sort of see if you know what a crossbow looks like and that you can sort of see what I'm getting up there but it will be a cross between Oh, I suppose it's like a two-part recurve. You can get those. Instead of one solid bow, it's like two halves that are bolted on. It's going to be similar to that, but it's going to look like a... a compound crossbow. But it's not, because it doesn't have the pulleys in that. So, I think the... The actual length of the prod is going to be, well the string I'm hoping is 21 inches, so that will be about the width of the prod as well. So if it works right I can just get, I can just buy, well there's a bloke who cust he custom does them but he'll make you uh, crossbow strings so hope with this work I can get him to make me some 21 inch strings because the other thing I wouldn't mind doing if this worked good and easy reasonably easy to make I wouldn't mind selling a couple of them you know because I know there's definitely people out there who would like a decent compound uh, not compound a decent carbine crossbow because you've you've only got the you know I think you can get some carbine ones but they're either just like cut down rifles or they're very expensive stuff like that whereas what I'm hoping here is to make something cheap and reliable easy to make you know I'm gonna add a couple of weaver like I said weaver rails in different places under the stock behind the bolt holder stuff like that so you can put sight there It'll have a folding stock. I think a folding stock's going to be the easiest thing. But I could do because what I may also do, I want my buying a telescoping stock and just put that on it. So some of the parts will look like proper, but well, they will be proper bought stuff, you know, not homemade. So here, I don't know how well you can see it. I'm just designing the whole the whole front piece now that's going to hold the four sections of the prod on 
I don't design the brackets because I may have to do those as I go along. I'm just gonna just gonna wait till I've got the temp bars and see. Just judge it, you know. But yeah, this is sped up like times three. I think it took me about an hour and fifteen minutes to do these designs because I like to do the designs full size. It's a lot easier that way. So how that crossbar? You can see it. That is how big it is. You know that prod there. That's how big it is. So you can already see the scale of how big it's going to be. So yeah, if you know your crossbows, when you look at this, it will look just like a compound crossbow, but it won't have the pulleys and that. I suppose I could potentially add the pulleys at another day, but I'm not going to for now. But yeah, you see it there? That is going to have, I think it was a 88 and a half inch draw. Because another thing of this, if it if it's not, I, what I'll probably do, I'll probably do that front end first. That may be the first thing I make. And then I can test whether that eight and a half inch draw is worth, you know, if it's good enough. If not, I can always add um, length to it. I don't want to add too much length though, because then it would just be as long as a normal crossbow anyway, and then it would be pointless. But, <coughs> like I said, we'll see. The other thing is, I can always just add more fiberglass anyway. I've worked it out. The way I'm doing it, I can add a bit of... I can add another one to the back of each two. There'll be four on each side. So now, I'm just going to design the stock. And at the minute, I'll just do a quick folding stock but it's going to be something where you can fold it or collapse it or something like that just thought I'd use this to do the uh, market because I know how long that is yeah so hopefully it should be something like this that's one thing I forgot to get I was, I was getting the materials I've got most of the materials I need to get some poles for that but yeah that is basically it. There may be some changes, maybe some stuff added, but that is basically what's coming up. Carbine crossbow. Well, yeah, that's it. So, uh, next video should be me getting the materials for it, and I'll show you what you're going to need, and then I'll start part one making it. Just getting all the bits there so, so you can see it. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.